Express LRS receivers are the go-to option for low latency and long range flying. But what if you wanna do some real long range flying? Then you probably need a better receiver, just like the EP1 receiver here by Happy Model with true diversity. So let's take a look at this receiver and see if it's right for you. Okay, so we have the traditional Happy Model package in here with the EP1 dual sticker on here, which makes sense. So let's open this up and see what we get. And we have two antennas here with UFL connectors, which makes sense. Have a, looks like a shrink wrap. Last but not least, we have the receiver, the star of the show here. This thing looks interesting. Now this receiver here looks really impressive, guys. This thing is really, really light and looks slightly larger than your typical Express LRC receiver, especially the one with the ceramic antenna. As you can see here, it is slightly wider, but surprisingly, the same length as your micro, which is the larger ones on here. So pretty impressive to have all this technology in this small little receiver here on this one board. So what's the big hype about this whole true diversity? Um, <laughs> Well, this receiver here is super special, not only because it has two antennas on here, but it has two radio chipsets on this one board. Now, why is that important? That's because other receivers in the market with dual or antenna diversity can select between the left or right antenna, the one with the stronger signal, to provide the information to the receiver. Now, this true diversity receiver has two radio chipsets on this one board, therefore receiving signals from both receivers from both antennas simultaneously. That means you're always gonna get a coverage from both of the antennas. That's a huge deal and a game changer, guys. Furthermore, this gives us a lot more flexibility when mounting our antennas. For example, I can mount my antenna on a wing, either in the front of the plane or in the back. I can mount it to the front of the drone or the rear of the drone here. And also this gives me the best thing, I can also have different polarities. I can have one mounted vertically while having one mounted horizontally. Now I have dual polarization when flying my drones. So now that we know we have double the chipset on this one board here, it's pretty much a big feat or a pretty big achievement to have everything on this small board, guys. And I earlier said that this was a little bit larger than your typical Express LRS receiver, but to have dual the chipsets on here, it's pretty cool that it all fits on this one board. Now typically you'd find diversity receivers with all the components on one side of the board, and that helps a lot with mounting solutions as well as cooling. So. I do suspect that this receiver here will generate a lot of heat having all these components on both sides of the board. So we'll see how this thing performs once we do take it for a test flight. So let me know what you think about this EP1 True Diversity Receiver. Is this something you're interested in? Even if you're not gonna fly long range, this might increase the integrity of your signal or the link between your radio and your drone. I, I do think that. In our next video, I'll be installing this in my long range drone. I call it a long range drone, but I have my six inch quad here with GPS. This already has Express LRS on here and I can get pretty far with this drone. So putting the true diversity receiver on here should be pretty impressive, guys. So if you're interested in seeing that video, hit that subscribe button there for you to be notified whenever that video goes live. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.